Thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. Hi there, I'm Dr. B. I'm gonna be helping you with your um, eye exam and your glasses try on today, okay? All right. so what are you looking for? Some prescription sunglasses? All right, well that is perfect because today's sponsor, Warby Parker, offers everything you need for happier eyes, including eyeglasses, sunglasses, uh, contact lenses, and eye exams, and you can shop with them online or in store. So first I'm gonna have you take the home try-on quiz on warbyparker.com. Um, so you can pick out your favorite eyeglass shape, a material type, and color. Um, they'll give you recommendations from there and you can choose five glasses to get shipped directly to your home for free uh, to try on and see which ones you like best and then it includes a shipping return label so you can send them back when you're done trying them on at no cost to you um, so first we have these frames these metal frame glasses and they have kind of a rounded shape here and let's go ahead and try those on So those are looking just a little bit small for your eye. Um, I was able to see just a little bit of your eyes peeking out there. Um, these are beautiful glasses and I love the style and the frame of them. I just think you need a slightly wider frame. So let's go with, these are a bit more square. They offer a little bit more coverage. Also, I really like the two-toned here. Um, I know that's something you mentioned in your quiz that you liked as well. So let's go ahead and try these on. Okay, so that coverage looks pretty good and it looks like um, it is nice and darkened, but it's also polarized, so you're able to um, see me pretty clearly, right? Okay, perfect. How do you like these? Good, okay. I'll put these as one of the ones that are potential. I have another pair here that's kind of similar, but um, the frame has a little bit more texture to it. Um, so it has that sort of cool design, um, but they're square as well. And every one of these, Warby Parker offers the prescription lens right inside of the glasses. So you don't have to worry about not being able to see just because they're your sunglasses. So let's try those on. Okay, how does that look to you? Looks pretty good. Oh, you look really, really nice in those actually. Yeah, I think this is another great option. So I think we found a couple of great options with the home try-on kit here. So you'll go ahead and return this and go online and order your glasses, whichever ones you decide to go with. Glasses start at $95 a pair and they can all be added with the perfect lens for you. And so let's go ahead and do a little quick eye test to make sure your prescription is up to date, okay? So I want you to just stare at the back of this chart here. Just read off a couple of lines for me. Can you read this line? this line okay and go ahead and cover one of your eyes in fact I've got an eye cover here so just cover one of your eyes and just um, read that big letter for me okay and what about this one and this one okay I'm gonna switch eyes now and can you read this letter Good. can you follow the tip of my pen here and just follow it everywhere it goes. Just look at the pen. Good. And can you look back behind me and ignore this? And now look at the pen. Good. And look back at the wall and back at the pen. Okay, so a little bit of blurriness there, but I'm um, otherwise pretty good. I'm gonna look into your eye now with the light. Good. And I'm just going to shine it right in the middle here. Okay. And just follow it everywhere it goes. I'm just going to look on the side of your eyes here. Your prescription is looking great. It's the same as last time. Um, so you can submit that information if should you decide to order some more Reporker glasses. A huge thank you to them for supporting this channel. And you can try five glasses at home for free by visiting warbyparker.com backslash chili b. That's warbyparker.com backslash chili b to get your five free at home try on glasses. Um, we have been loving them and we wear ours every single day. So I highly, highly recommend them. Now I have to get off to my next patient. So relax and enjoy the video. 
Hi, Samita. Hi, Hannah. Nice to see you again. Um, today we're doing a chiropractic exam and a back check. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, good. So I haven't seen you for this before, so I do want to just run through some general questions. Um, are you in any pain or discomfort at the moment? A little bit, but it's tolerable. Tolerable. Okay. Nothing where um, if I touch you, it's going to be too painful or excessive. No. Okay. Any um, headaches at the at the moment? Not at the moment. Uh, I did have one yesterday. Okay. And it's resolved. Can you point to where you were having that headache? We're here. I think it was really coming from my jaw being super tight. Your jaw? Okay. Yeah. Feel those muscles, those masseter muscles. Yes. And what about a history of any um, accidents, car accidents, physical, um, major injuries, surgeries, things like that? I've been in three car accidents before, but it was a really, really minor one. Mm, minor. Yeah. Um, any um, spine issues from those accidents? No. Did you have to wear a brace, a neck brace at any no. point? Okay. And no history of whiplash? No. Okay. Okay, and so you said that headache resolved? Yeah, it's all gone now. Okay. So no, no major accidents um, and no uh, unbearable pain today, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so I will be palpating you at some points. Um, so just let me know if anything is too painful. Um, is there anything in particular you wanted me to focus on today? Anything that's bothering you? So my my traps right here, like my upper back. Mm -hmm. Really it's sore. Really tight um, and kind of going up to my neck area. Into the neck? Mm -hmm. Like about here? Yeah, How high? it's mostly on the left side. Right, on the up left to side. My, right up to the back of my head here. This occipital bone right yes. here? Yes. And okay. maybe like, definitely my jaw. Okay, jaw. It's been bothering me. And... So most, mostly centralized in this upper um, yeah. Shoulder and neck region. Like a little bit on the right side too, but mostly the left. Okay. Mm. And on a scale from one to ten, one being no pain at all, very comfortable. Ten being um, excruciating, worst pain of your life. Where would you rate that? Probably just a two out of ten. It's really not bad. Okay, so mostly mild discomfort, um, things like that. Yes. Um, how often are you sitting during the day? Do you sit for long stretches of time? I normally don't, but okay. yesterday I was uh, driving. Okay. I had a long drive, so... How long were you seated for yesterday? I was seated for probably like six to seven hours. Okay, that's yeah. quite a long time. All right, so Smita, I think what I want to do is uh, just do more of an investigatory uh, exam today since I haven't seen you before. Um, so before we begin with any of the palpation um, or addressing any of the chiropractic issues, I want to do a really quick cranial nerve exam just to make sure that none of that, um, the, spin, the neck pain in particular, uh, is not resulting from any sort of neurological deficit. Okay. Right, so just go ahead and look straight ahead for me right about there, nice and um, even in the neck. And I'm just going to have you follow uh, the tip of my reflex hammer here. Do you see that clearly? Yes. Okay, just follow it, just moving your eyes, not your head. Any pain or discomfort in the eyes or triggering that headache at all here? Um, Just a little bit of yeah. the eyes feeling a little dizzy? It's, okay. it's feeling a bit uncomfortable up here, up here. Peer pressure. Okay. Yeah. I want to look at that. So. A little dizzy, I guess. Yes. Any extra pain when I press here like that? Yeah. So maybe a little sinus pressure right here. That, mm. That's where it's bothering you. What about right here? It's more probably just the tension in my muscles. But okay. Pain. Any no. pain here? No. Like to illuminate the glands here. You actually open your mouth for me. Ah. Uh, just looking. relax. Any pain in the jaw when I did that? A little bit. Yeah. Let me feel the jaw here. 
to open and close for me. Oh yeah, I feel a click right there. So that TMJ mm -hmm. joint is um, out of alignment. Is that typical for you? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna feel here. So yeah, that muscle here is pretty sore. Does that mm -hmm. feel tender when I touch you like yes. that? Okay. okay. On this side. So I want you to just stare straight ahead again. I'm just gonna check the pupillary reaction here. All fine as far as functionality goes. Close your eyes, tell me when you feel me touch you. No. 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 Does that feel the same here and here? Yes. Same? Yes. Here and here? Same. Again, just tell me if it feels does that feel sharp to you? Yes. Does that feel sharp all the way down? Yes. Same on this side? Yes. Same down the middle? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Test your reflexes. So I just want you to let your jaw hang. I am going to be hitting you right here. Does that reverberate any pain into the jaw? No. Okay. I'm going to just stare straight ahead for me. reflex is intact. Do the arms here, so just relax for me. Perfect. Not super brisk. Is that normal for you? Yes. Okay, same thing on this side. Tell me, does this feel cold to you? Mm -hmm. Cold here? Yes. Here and here? Yes. There and there. Mm -hmm. All right. I think the, you know, neurologically, when you're speaking to me, um, can you say no ifs, ands, or buts? No ifs, ands, or buts. Okay, so I'm not really worried about this being a neurological issue. Um, definitely a lot of tension and clicking in that jaw. That jaw is certainly out of alignment. Um, and I want to investigate the neck and the shoulders as well. Um, so in order to do that, I want you to actually turn around so I can have access to your back, okay? Okay. Alright, Samita, so I'm just going to put your hair up so I can have access to the neck and shoulders. Is that all right? Is that uncomfortable at all? It's fine. Okay. So we'll start out with an inspection here and you're just gonna feel my light touch your back. I'm just looking for anything that could cause pain, discomfort, scarring, things like that. Scar tissue can be a good indication of swelling, things like that. You see just a couple of scars, they look very well healed and older. Anything new or, or are these all pretty, pretty old? I think most of them are mosquito bites. Mosquito bites, yeah. So you're very sensitive to that? 
Mm. Yeah, it's my first, well, second year doing lots of mosquito bites, so I guess I'm not. That can happen when you live on a farm. Yes. Nothing majorly concerning though. I'm just going to palpate very slowly here. Check all the muscle groups. So we have quite a few muscles in our back, as well as the ones that go over the shoulders and down the arms. They can all get sore and pull our joints out of alignment. Going down the spine here, there's quite a bit of tension. Does this feel sore at all? It's tender. Sure. Tender, okay. And underneath the shoulder blades as well, I can definitely feel a little bit of tightness. The right side is a little tighter than the left side. I know you're saying the left side was bothering you more, mm. but that could be because the left side is bothering you. You're compensating with the right, causing more muscle tension on that side. Okay, I'm just gonna feel the spine now. Can you tuck your head for me gently and just sort of dive forward as if you were going to take a swim into a pool, exactly, and then just come up really slowly for me, one vertebrae at a time. Spine's very straight, no scoliosis noticed. Just use the back of my hands for check for temperature. Definitely feel a little bit of warmth, especially in the neck. So I'm going to use a nervoscope here. And I'll kind of show you this little tool. Um, if you look over here, you'll have two little metal prongs. You're gonna feel that on your back. It shouldn't be painful, but you will feel a little bit of scratching. Um, and this is just gonna be measuring the temperature variations of the spine. Temperature can tell us a lot when it comes to chiropractic work because we tend to see temperature jumps and variations with swelling, edema, scar tissue, things like that. So I'm seeing a right here. Oh, big swing right at the neck there. So what I'm seeing is pretty consistent temperature manipulation. All the way down the spine. Middle of the neck there. That looks okay. Just under that right shoulder blade, right where I felt that tension. Okay. So you'll just feel a little tap like that. You feel that there? Yes. Is that too uncomfortable? No. All right, so tell me if you feel anything worse than this. So you should feel a little bit of that pressure, um, but you shouldn't feel any shooting pain or more intense pain. So let me know if that happens.
in gently down the spine. Any nerve pain, shooting no. pain, electric sensations. Mm -hmm. Okay, test a couple of the reflexes in the back. Just want to see how the skin's reacting. No muscle spasms, things like that. Just by stimulating here the different muscles. That looks fine. So we did the temperature variations, but I'm just going to take generalized temperature in the back here, see if there's any red flags for infections, things like that. It's really consistent. It is a little bit lower than your internal temperature, but that's normal. Biggest changes I'm sensing is that right down the middle in the two neck areas right here. Let me make a couple of motions for me. I want to see the range of motion. So can you just put your neck down as far as it can go comfortably? Any pain with that? Pulling anything like that? It's kind of pulling right. Pulling right here. Okay. Come back to center and go back. Uh, back this way as far as you can go. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Any pain in the front with that? Not in the front, but I but that feels tender. Right here? here. I do that? Okay, back right to here. center. I don't want it to be too painful. I'm just going to adjust the hair here. So we said right here it was painful, right? A little, bit a little higher, right there, right under that shoulder blade, right there. Mm -hmm. Feel that a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Definitely feeling a knot there. Um, can you tilt your head to this shoulder, ear to shoulder? Just checking for the, and then the other side, please. So definitely more range of motion on this left side. This right side is a little bit tighter. Um, again, you know, if you're hyperextending here, on this left side, you could be having some pain, but that doesn't mean that the tightness here isn't occurring because you're of the compensation. Okay, turn all the way, chin towards me, like that, exactly. Any pain with that? Not really? It's the same spot. Here. Right here, which is on this side. Okay, and the other way, please. Any pain with that? And I guess just pulling here. Just pulling, we're stretching. Not really okay. painful. I'm going to have you sort of move your body side to side. So, yeah, exactly. Any discomfort down that way? No. Okay, the other way. That's all okay. Yeah, all right, so that lower back then probably is okay. You're not experiencing any pain down here. No. All right, so we'll focus on the upper back here. We'll do a couple of those quick sensory tests here as well, just to make sure there's nothing going on. Um, so just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay. What does this feel like to you? Mm. Compared to this? It's like, um, I guess a dull or something. Yeah, more dull, more yeah. scratchy. Okay. Tell me what you feel, dull or soft, okay? Okay. Soft. Dull. Dull. Soft. 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 Dull. Soft. Oh, sorry, dull. Mm hmm Dull. How about this? Soft. Good. Soft. Dull. All right. I'm going to run the sharp tool down the spine in a couple of different places, just along those muscle groups. Tell me if it feels the same or different. So does that feel the same as that? Yes. 
here and here yeah here and here mm-hmm. here here yeah tilt your head for me just a little is that the same all the way down mm-hmm. try that again same all the way down same I'm going to hit this and place it just on a couple spots in the spine. I want you to tell me what you feel. Vibration. Nothing. Good. Vibration. Vibration. Nothing. Okay. So I think as far as all the sensory responses go, I'm not too worried. Um, I just want to do a little bit of adjustments and massage on the back now. Um, try and loosen up some of that tension. I'm just going to st- be stretching you a little for, to start out with. Okay, tell me if it's ever too much. my hand so I don't scrape the skin, all right? I'm going to focus primarily on this line that goes directly from the neck. This There's a big muscle right here. Mm-hmm. It runs down and then runs down, meets this other muscle that goes underneath the scapula. And this can get very tight for a lot of people. I can feel some knots as well in you, so that's very common. Definitely a little worse on this right side, actually. I'm surprised that the left side is not feeling, is feeling the majority of the pain. Not too much. Okay. I want to apply enough pressure to actually break up some of those adhesions without hurting you, of course. You have me doing some acupressure in the back. So start out with just doing a little bit of drawing and tracing. Just along those muscle lines. Tickly a little. Mm-hmm. How's that a little harder? Okay. It's 
We're gonna feel a little bit of pressure in one spot, okay? Is that too much? Mm -hmm. Tell your head for me. Definitely a little bit of sensitivity and tenderness there. So I'm not gonna press too hard, especially for your first visit. But yeah, I'm just going to stretch you back here a little. Fourth. of motion again. Can you go all the way forward? Just want to see how far we got. Okay, come all the way back. Any of these feel different at all? A little looser maybe? Okay, Keep go one more time. Okay, and forward one more time. Okay, and back to center. Right, ear to shoulder. Yep, exactly. The other side. Okay. So, I mean, I'll have you turn around um, just so we can go over what our findings were today. This was more of an investigatory session and I'm gonna make some um, recommendations now, okay? All right, so upon inspection of the spine, we pretty much ruled out neurological issues, um, a lot of tightness though in the neck and that right side, which you're feeling a lot of the pain on the left side. And I'm feeling a lot of the tightness on the right. Um, so I would like to just take an X-ray just to make sure there's nothing um, else going on that we're seeing, but the spine felt straight for me. So I'll fill you for an x-ray, but um, I think you're experiencing tension. <laughs> um, not new for a lot of us who um, appear at a screen or look with our head going down like that, or um, if you had been seated for many hours yesterday, you could be feeling a little bit worse. Um, I'm going to suggest that you actually look into Thai massage. It's a combination stretching um, and uh, pressure massage. Um, that I think could be really beneficial for you to get that flexibility, um, stretch those muscles out while also loosening things up. And we'll do those here as well, so I can refer you to someone who does that. Um, do you have any other questions for me today? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, so I think it's just muscular, honestly. I'm, I'm not too worried about a slipped disc or anything more uh, nefarious, so I uh, just need to take care of yourself. Oh, thank you. Thank you.